Congratulations! You just acquired one of, if not the only, one-man printing team machines of the printing world. You now own the world's only professional-grade desktop ink-based full-color printing label device with a built-in fold header. You are about to take label making to a whole new level. Next, you'll see your complete step-by-step -step video tutorial to quickly and easily set up and print with your new iColor 250 inkjet label printer. Step 1. Setting up your iColor 250. Unpack your iColor 250 inkjet label printer and place the machine on a flat surface, away from heat sources while allowing for adequate clearance in front of the printer. Next, make sure that all supplied accessories are included in the box with your printer. Step 2. Initial Assembly Now, some light assembly is required before operating the printer. Open the printer cover, remove the protective cover from the knife holder to loosen the knife collar and install the knife holder. Push on the cutting knife so it goes all the way down before pushing the collar in. Finally, lock it into place and allow it to cut. Next. We will install the printer cartridge. Place the new cartridge into the empty carriage. When installing the cartridge, tilt the cartridge at a slight backward angle of approximately 30 degrees. Now, push down on the cartridge. Now close the lid on the cartridge until you hear a click. Close the printer cover. Then, proceed to install the movable label roll holder. Flip the printer over before installing holders. The bottom of the holder will fit in the notch on the printer. Now, slide the movable label roll holder to the far right. Then, install the roll guide by attaching the hooked end to the rail as shown here. Slide the roll guide to the stop. Now, locate the second roll holder, the one with the protruding wire. Proceed to connect the wire to the port on the printer. Tuck the wire inside the cavity as you move the holder closer to the notch. Snap the holder in place so the two screw holes line up with the holes on the printer. Install the T8 screws using the included Allen key or a Torx T8 screwdriver. Now rotate the printer back on its feet. Step 3. Installing the label roll. There are two types of label media that can be used. Digital non-die cut media or pre-die cut media. It is highly recommended that you only use Uninet label media. This label media comes from Uninet with a black hub and a smart chip that identifies the type of label media, tracks the percentage remaining, and automatically sets the sensor type to continuous printing. Now, we are ready to install a digital non-die cut label roll. Install the blue hub on the open side of the digital non-die cut label roll. Make sure the green chip holder fits in the corresponding green slot on the label roll holder. Now, set the roll in place so the blue pin sits in the notch on the label roll holder. Finally, before feeding the label stock to the printer, Make sure you plug in power and switch on the printer. Step four, label stock for the iColor 250. Now we are ready to feed the label stock to the printer. Proceed to guide the leading edge of the label roll into the printer feed area as shown here. Adjust the blue guide so that it touches the side of the media. Push until the printer detects the label stock, grabs it and pulls it through the printer. Step 5. 
As you know, the iColor 250 comes packed with a powerful iColor custom cut software which allows for printing and cutting labels to any desired shape and much more. Please visit iColorPrint.com to find the quick tutorial for the iColor 250 label printer custom cut software including the device's printing and cut functionalities. Uninet iColor. Your future, our business.